Good day, YouTubers. I hope you guys are having fun watching these really cool back to school videos. Don't forget to check them out. Do more you think of them in the comment box, please. As it is, I'm covering you guys from tricks from A to Z. From my lockers and much more. Without any further ado, let's get to these trick videos right now. And here, I proudly present to you famous school time tricks, gags, school pranks, and awesome school magic. And now, let's bring in our tricks up of the day. Okay, so here we are at our first trick up of the day, and that is the broken fold back clip tabs trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see these clips here. Gonna actually just take this here and just actually do some mending. Watch. Now, they become one of the fold back clip. How is this clip trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is this one simple thing, and that's what you'll see here. I'll fall back clip. What you want to do is open these tabs up and place this part of your fall back clip underneath. And you're going to hold it like this. Use your thumb to hold the tabs like this. This now is coming going up and swiveling under closest to you. So they all you see are the broken up tabs. Place this in very quickly, like this, and magically renew the full back clip with the tabs on it. And that there is how you do the br broken fall back clip tabs trick. And now here we are at our second tr trick of the, the famous school time tricks, gigs, pranks, and awesome school magic. And that is the bottle cap squeeze magic trick. Here is the performance. What it looks like. Okay, you can see if it has it empty here. You're going to use this cap and put this into here. So you're going to just go like this and get that squeeze. Watch. And it now squeezes and fuses together. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is two simple things two of the same. Caps from drinks, making sure that they are the same. I'm only going to actually press it in. It's very easy to press. So you're going to press this in like this. It's very easy to press in. You're going to leave one hole, which is the one that you'll see right here. What you're going to do is you're going to place the one that's already squeezed into the bedding of your, uh, of your pointer and your thumb like this. Hold like this. Fingers now are loosely covered over like that. Show your cap off for inspection. You're gonna place this in the hand. As you do, you're gonna actually flip this into your hand as you give it a squeeze and then drop. That with this gun to keep this palmed and make your way to your pocket as now you present the cap squeeze and it, and it, and it fuses like right there. And that right there is how you do the bottle cap squeeze magic trick. A very famous magic trick that will give a lot of students big smiles on their faces when they see that one. And that the same will come with our next trick which is appears at number three and that is the magic eye ring and string magic trick. Here it is to you right 
now. Okay, so you can see my metal eye ring here, and I got my string here. This is all separate, completely separate. I'm gonna place this in my hand like this, and watch. I'm gonna actually put this string, I give it a rub, watch. It magically ties itself on my string. How is this done? As, as I tell I reveal the Stick it to you right now. All you need is just two simple things. One, some nice eye catchy string, and an eye ring. <coughs> okay, what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually tie this onto your eye ring just like this. So here is the knot right here. Okay, next you're gonna do is gonna actually hold your string like this. And hide that knot. And then dress the string in a way that it looks like it's completely separate from one another. That way it looks like you actually have the string separate and the eye ring separate. Really, it's just this. That is the handling. Like that. So here it's like it's completely separate. Place the ring in by holding it like this. And put it in. Put the string in. You give it a rub, and it'll magically tie itself onto the piece of string. And that there is how you do the magic eye ring and string magic trick. And now, to our fourth trick of our famous school time tricks, gigs, pranks, and awesome school magic. And that is the magic change bottle cap magic trick. Here is the performance. Okay, so you can see my blue cap? I'm gonna scrape this and watch. It now changes into a coke lid that you'll see right here. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. Because this trick is a definite big fave that's making it really big. Okay, so here is what you need to pull this off. You will need is two separate ball caps. Blue, red, or any color ball cap you have. Or a coke lid like this, as you can see. So, here is the handling of this trick. What I just want to do is keep this separated and hold down in pinch mode like this with your thumb and pointer. And then this will get loosely pinched in behind it like this. So, you're going to hold that in a way that I don't get to see any red. Tilt it up a little bit. Use a hand and be quick. That. So from here, like that. Again from here, and I come down and grab it by the ridge of the bottle cap. And now this is into your, your palm in retention mode. Make this one go down very quickly to your side as now you transfer this cap up to them. Be very quick at this. That way you can show your other hand completely free and point at the change of the cap. And that is how you do the magic change bottle cap magic trick. And now making our way down to our fifth trick and that is the magic 20 Bill appearing coins magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Kick his ear back in front. And then now just take this like this. Again, back in front. I'm gonna place this 20 right into my hand like this. 
watts. And by magic, it gives coins in my hand. How is this magic trick done? As I'm about to reveal, to stick it to you right now. All you need though is just a few simple things. One, play money or real money. And you look right currency. Real loose chains or play loose chains, which is what you'll see right here. Okay, what you want to do for this is keep your coins palmed into your hands at all times. Show the bill back in front. Pass around for inspection before doing the trick. You can use this as a covering to drop the, the coins into your hands very, very quickly. As now you place the bill into your hands like this. And then I guys to snap your fingers and then move your bill. And by magic, making coins appear in the palm of your hand. And that there is how you do the magic 20 bill appearing coins magic trick. You can see in the back here how I can actually turn on the lights by this stuff on my fingers. Wow. That fast? It's as fast as you're truly Batman. Let's take a look at it. Strong and mighty. Boom. Okay, now we're getting down to our sixth trick, which is the back to school color changing dots on craft stick trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. Before, let's bring the orb in. Get that the orb. Okay, you can see, you can see my little stick here. Good, do this, good, good, good. This and watch. By the shake, it magically changes the color of the dots. How is this crafty trick done? I'm about to reveal to get to you right now. Here's what you need to pull this amazing trick. All you'll need is what you'll see here. Your colorful dots from your local stationery store and in the craft section, a craft stick, just like this. Gonna do is gonna get any color that you prefer, the yellow, the green, or the red, and you're gonna put them in a strip all on one side and on the back side so it looks like this so here and here in a strip just like this what you want to do is want to keep the base first and then the change in the back to you and hold it away that you can actually flick it over like that Fingers are like this. But I want to do this fast as you shake. Shaking will cover the motion of your twisting. And then by magic, those yellow dots change into red dots on the craft stick. And that is how you do the back to school color changing dots on craft stick trick. And now down to our seventh one, which is the change ink pen, uh, pen. Trick prank. Here is what this looks like. For this one, I'm going to greet you at my tricks table. So, let's use the eyes on the tricks table. First up, make my pen appear from the thin air. See, I got this a black pen here. I got my notepad here. And I'm gonna open up my black pen and begin to write out my name with this. Okay, so here you can see that this is a black watch. Then why is there that's weird. B. 
blue. How in the heck? Okay, that's weird. How is that possible? It's a it's a black pen. When all this is done, I'm about to reveal to get to you right now. Okay, so here is what you'll need. You'll need is two different pens. One that is blue. Take out the the, the inskirt of it and take out the other one from the black. This is the black one that I took out of this. I'm going to now is put that blue ink part into a black pen. So they're going to think that this is a black pen. And as they write in their notebook, they will be surprised when they write their name and see that the black pen is not black and I press it right into blue. This one here will definitely fool a lot of students once they know how it's done. They'll be laughing. It's a really cle uh, um, clever prank that you can pull for back to school. And that there is how you do the change ink pen trick prank. And now incoming down to our eighth one, and that is the crunch a pen prank gang. Here is what it looks like. So here I got my pen. I'm gonna do juice. Gonna actually use this. Gonna watch. I'm gonna actually crush this up. All nice and crushed and watch and try and put it back together again. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. So all you need for, for, for uh, this is a straw with as the sleeve on it. You're going to actually use is a, a bl blue marker to make the tip down here and then place a cap from a pen on top of it just like this what gonna do is gonna fold this it is very nice and foldable so as you go like this it looks like it's crushed release it and magically heal the pen And that is how you do the scrunched up pen prank egg. Now here's another pen trick that would definitely get a lot of people stunned. In our in our ninth trick, which is the pen tip appearing grip sleeve magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Can you see I got nothing in my hands? You can see I got this. There's no sleeve on this. I'm going to just put this right into my hand and place the cap on it like this. Watch. I magically get the grip sleeve onto the pen. How's this done? But the feels good to you right now. All you need is a. Is a a different kind of pen, a big pen that has a grip sleeve. It's very easy to re remove. All I gotta do is just loosen it up and it comes off like that. This is gonna be held into your hand with your thumb and held in like this. You can see it, there's nothing in the hand at all. I'm gonna rotate this into your hand as now you're gonna place this inside of it all the way. Careful not to expose this. Make sure that you pass this around from the spectrum first. Then put your cap on that pen. Keep holding, snap your fingers. And by magic, making a little bit of the black appear in the, almost in the center, 
take the cap off, and then by magic, the grip sleeve will appear onto the pen. And that is how you do the pen tip appearing grip sleeve magic trick. It's not a fascinating pen trick that will absolutely blow your minds to outer space. And this one, I like to call the uh, tenth one, the space time pen trick. Here is what this looks like. You can see see this this pen here, all these nice stripes. You can actually just see here. I'm gonna show you the stripe. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually hold this like this and watch. It looks like an it like an alien head. See? Here are the eyes, and here's the face. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you'll need is these kind of pens that you see right here. Comes in green, and it also comes in black. Okay, because of being like an alien, I'll go for the green. But it's entirely up to you. Okay, you can see here is the alien head here. What you want to do is twist like this to make it look like one of the lines of the pen. And again, twist and show the other line of the pen like this. So you can see it's just lines. What you're going to do is you just twist in the cover and then just by magic make an alien head appear on the pen's on the pen. It's a cool pen trick you could do for back to school, let alone something from out of this world. And that there is how you do the space time pen trick. And now introducing to our 11th trick that's making it really famous in school, and that is the, the famous bent fork Prong magic trick. Here is the performance. What this looks like. Okay, you can see, you can see, you can see my fork, my fork here. You can take a look at the prongs. You just try to take that fork and just like this. You can actually just go like this and take that fork and watch. And by magic, you can see. I bent the fur prongs. How's this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is two of the same forks. One are you gonna bend the prongs that you'll see here. And one you're gonna keep full. What you wanna do is gonna keep the bent one into your hand just like this. Keep the one that's full out. What you're gonna do is place the fork in, make sure you have a long sleeve shirt to go in to your sleeve, hold. Now these prongs will go back together by pushing them together. Pull out. So they think now the fork is still there. Really you're just holding the bent pieces and get a flick out and by magic bending the fork prongs. makes a cool little fork trick that you could do for back to school because it involves those snack forks perfect for the ones that go into your lunch kit and that's how you do the famous bent fork prong M magic trick I'm gonna change that to a pearl I'm making it prongs because there's more than one so there I will say that name again and I'll add the letter S into Okay, right there was the famous bent fork prongs magic trick. I'll be adding that in the description box. 
Okay, now is the time that we add the spoons into this one. Coming in at our twelfth one, down, and that is the magic hand flip spoon magic trick. Here it is, performance, what this looks like. See, I've got my spoon here. I'm going to just flip this just like this. going to actually do some pretty magic. If I can just leave this just like this, watch. <gasps> Magically flips in my hand. How does it But to reveal to you, right, all you need is some fine line. See, man, it's nice shine so you can actually see the, the line and you can attach it to a kitchen spoon with a little bit of tape. What you want to do is put your line and hold within your fingers just like this and flip it over. When you tug the line, it'll flip. So from here, you get to see, get to see this. So you don't get to see down here. Be very, very slow. And by magic, flip the spoon into your head. I also turn myself into light. Watch. Isn't that cool? And right there is how you do the magic hand flip spoon magic trick. And now making its way down to our next trick, which is our 13th trick, and that is a magic back to school color changing small scissors magic trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. Okay, so here I got my back to school scissors here. I'm gonna do, do some pretty magic with this. I'm gonna just take this and watch. Magically color change the scissors. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need are your small back to school scissors, color ones, they must be almost exactly the same like what you see here. Here is the hand the handling. Okay, because I want to see the change, I'm gonna do the blue, because I've done this. Okay, so for the blue, hold your scissors like this. And let's hold. Place the scissors the same way as the other ones. And as they come over like this, I'm going to actually flip this down like this. I'll do it roughly so you can see the change. And fast, it comes out like this. Okay, so there you can see, you can see the drop one more time. You can also go like this and go like that. Right there, will change your back to school small scissors. And that is how you do the magic back to school color changing small scissors magic trick. Okay, this one here goes into a card and a pencil and a 14th one, which is the pencil crayon through the card magic trick. Here is the performance to you right now. Okay, because you can see my card back in front, and I got my pencil crayon. You can see, can try to drive this through my card, and just go like this and watch. I sink it right through. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is an old card. I wanted to do this with a nice, fresh card. Find a nice, good old card. And you'll need is a star, a pencil crayon. Here is how it is done. Because the cards fold, right? So as you hold this, this is going to go behind it and press this down. I get it driven through. Make sure it's a tip. That way it looks more nicer. Here. And hold like this. From here, it actually looks like it's a through and through. I'm gonna pull very quickly to match up to the card and yank out. So from here, get that, and then you get this. And then 
Be fast and take that pencil crayon right out of a card. As the trick is done, hand the card out for further inspection. And that there is how you do the pencil crayon through the card magic trick. But here is a build trick that they'll never uh, forget, and that's coming down to our 15th one, which is the change bill magic trick. Here is what this looks like. So you can see my 20, you can just take this 20, just like this, and actually just go here and watch. Change the bill into a 50. How is this done? We're about to reveal so get to you right now. Here's what you'll need to pull this amazing magic trick. All what you'll need is a bit of your non table scotch tape, which is what you'll see right here. And some of your play money or real money, any right local currency. You're gonna take, let's say, a 10 if you want a 10, and a 100. Making sure all the heads are back to back, and you're gonna tape them together like this. Okay, so welcome, oh, welcome back, my bill. So from here, gonna tape the ends as well as the other parts here. So here are them to link together. So let's use my 50. What I was gonna do is I'm gonna actually place this down to have very quickly, and then just go like that, give it a flip. Here, and then like that. Here, in the fast, go in, and by magic, change a 20 into a 50, or whatever money that you have to pull off this famous magic trick. And that is how you do the change bill magic trick. And now for our 16th one, which is the Magic Tracker Wallet Magic Trick. Here is what this wallet looks to you right now. First, let's bring it out out of thin air, my Tracker Wallet. Okay, you're going to see, you can just open this up. I'm going to show you that's completely empty in the inside. Watch, and just now, it's just to take it back. What appears to be a bill magically appears in my wallet. How is this done? I'm about to reveal so get to you right now. All you need is a bill, and you look over right. currency, 20, 50, whatever um, bill that you have. And all you need is a nice wallet. It doesn't have to be a, tra a tracker, but it does really look really nice. Okay, what I want to do is find the ones to have the little flap in the inside. You're going to place your bill in the inside of it just like this. And you go like that, so that way it looks like it's completely empty. Once this drops, it'll expose that. But first, you want to produce it by holding it just like this. And be very quick. Produce it any form you want, want to do, or you can go like this. Make it appear like that. So you got your production of your wallet. From there, you're gonna go into looking into your wallet by opening by opening this up and pressing this very tightly. Opening it like that, so you can see it's completely empty. Go down very fast and making a bill magically appear in your wallet. After it's done, take out your take out your bill and show them the bill that magically appeared from. Your wallet. Well, here we come down to our fifty, our seventeenth one. Come on, you could do with a bill and an envelope. In this trick, I like to call the magic bill prediction envelope magic trick. Here is the performance to you right now. Okay, so here are the bills. I'm gonna turn my back so you guys can grab one. Okay, you're gonna do it. I'm gonna now is go get an envelope. Okay, now is I'm not gonna look into that envelope. I'm gonna actually put this in the envelope. Okay, so have yourself putting this into the envelope like this. Okay, so here, 
that's in the envelope. I'm now going to read and predict what bill you put inside there. Was it a five? Was it a five? How did I guess that? I just read right through this. Here is a secret to you right now. All you need is this envelope that you see here, and all you need is some of your bills. Real or play money. What you can do is line your bills up and have a friend select a bill. It could be any bill. Let's say they picked that. Okay. Next thing is take your little envelope. You're going to actually not put it in the envelope, but they're thinking it is. It's an illusion. Look like that. Puts it in. And it's right in the back here. So all the guys say, let me guess what's inside there. That is a hundred dollar bill. They're thinking, how did you do that? Really? You read this. Take it out. And act completely mystified and stunned that you actually read the bill that was put into your envelope. So if you put it in the envelope and you can't read it, well guess what you could do? It's pretty simple. You can actually try and ruffle it up and take it out down into your lap and put it up. That way they won't even know a thing. And then when you pull it off, watch them be surprised. And that is how you do the Magic Bill Prediction Envelope Magic Trick. And now greeting us down to our next one, and that is the Master Lock and Key Neckband Magic Trick. Here is what it looks like. You can see I got my little padlock here. And it says Master on it. You can see I got this right here. It is nothing on this at all. You can just place this on to my neck. You can see this? Watch. Are you ready? And by magic, I send it on to the key neck necklace. How was this done? I'm about to reveal a second to you right now. All you need is two of the same master locks, one already onto it. What you want to do is go like this. Pass it through just a few times. Like that. Because it stops, you can just do it just a few times. Your side, it kind of gets empty. Then placing it on your neck. Keep holding this. As now you hold this, I'm going to actually flick this up and be quick. So here. And then, by magic, it'll jump and get onto this. This now will get ditched into your pocket at an angle. From there, now magically jump on to your a key neckband. Because it looks nice with the shirt, I'm going to keep this on for the remainder of the video. And that there is how you do the master lock and key neckband magic trick. And now here we get to our 19th one, and that is the magic stiff ro rope cord magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my rope Cord here, I'm going to take one, one piece out of it, like, just like this, and watch by magic. And actually, make it be stiff. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. So all you need for this is this cord rope. It is stiff, but because to look like it's not stiff, wrap it around your fist like this. Take one out and hold with your thumb in the back of it, and it will stay standing up. Press on more firmly and twist, and it stays nice and stiff. Like that. And then snap your fingers, and... Put your thumb up 
a little bit and have it to drop right back into its bundle. And that there is how you do the magic stiff rope cord magic trick. And now I'm marking us down at our 20th one of our incredible uh, famous school tricks, and that is the mystery clip change magic trick. Here is my performance of what this looks like. Okay, you can see I got my clip here. I'm gonna actually place this in my hand like this. Here, was. And it changes the clip. How is this done? I'm about to reveal. Let's get to you right now. All you need is two of the same clips here, black, and this one with the same color black. One's going to be cut into your palm. And one you're going to hold. What you're going to do is, gonna as you put this in, you're going to put this in, like this, at an angle with your hand, like this, so they don't get to see this going in. Now gonna go be be quick and then take this, put this in, it'll drop to your lap, and it'll magically change. And still keep the same color context. And that is how you do the mystery clip change magic trick. And now here we are, down to our twenty-first one, and that is the magic very small clothes clip blow up magic trick. Here is the performance to you right now. You can see how just small this little guy is. Very, very small. I place this into my hand. You're going to see this clip here. Watch. And now blow it up into a great big epic size. How is this done? Reese will now show you the secret. Okay, so here is what you'll need. One little small clothes clip. And you'll need is a big size for this trick. What you're gonna do is gonna keep this into your lap where no one sees this. So right here, pass this little clip around for inspection and place it in the palm of your hands. And as you do, you can actually pick up this with your hand like this. Make it very quick quickly and just drop this in like that. Make sure that it's down like this. To your forearm and be quick. So fast, it'll look like this. So here, get this. And then get ready and blow the clip up because this is small. Let's drop into your lap. You can show your hands completely free. A very small closed clip and blow it up to another size. And that is how you do the magic, very small closed clip blow up magic trick. You have from here, we come to our 22nd trick, and that is the magic change a paint strip magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my 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 colors on my uh, strip here. I'm going to actually just put this in to my hand just like this. Right now, just pull this out and watch. And magically, it changes. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is what you'll see here two paint strips that you'll see right here. D uh, one a different color from the other one. One and one change is the more brighter ones. That will be your change. Okay, what you want to do is you have a long sleeve shirt. I'm going to stick that, the color that you all see right here. What you're going to do is stick this into your sleeve 
just like this. It'll slip out really nicely too. So you're ready to work it out. Okay, so from here. So your first strip. There's a strip in the inside of my sleeve, you can see here. What it's going to do is it's going to hold this as you go bend down. And this will fall out a little bit so you can, you know, catching it. Like this. So this in to your shirt. Like this. Because of being black. Again, hold that black. Like this. And then as you drop this into your shirt. Upward, magically change your paint strip. From there, that one will fall into your sleeve. You hold it up, it'll fall in, and then magically it'll change. And that is how you do the magic change paint strip magic trick. Now here's a ball trick that would definitely leave everyone mystified and stunned. And that's coming to our last trick, which is our 23rd trick, and that is the back to school milk bottle magic trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. You can see my uh, bottle here. Watch. And by magic, it brings us a label. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind this to you right now. All you'll need is a milk to go bottle. I'm gonna cut one part of this and only have one one white and one with we're gonna tape the label after you cut it onto it just like this. Make sure the tape you have is white tape or you can use this scotch tape. So here, put it down like this, cover your label, twist, and throw it down, like that. So that way now, the white is here, and the label's right here, fast, again, like that, by magic, getting a label on your milk bottle. And that's how you do the back to school milk bottle magic trick. And there you go, all 23 tricks you can do for Back to school, got more coming straight up. Stay tuned. Swing us really.